I'm so thankful to have gotten to go on this trip with my whole family. And I appreciate the people who provided for us financially and with their prayers and encouragement. Um, it was the trip of a lifetime. And to get to do it with my family and a lot of my favorite people in the world, it was awesome. The Belize people were very, very open, like one of the other persons said. But, and uh, it was a very good experience. But and our and and God revealed Himself to us, and 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 I appreciate that. But now I need to share one kind of humorous experience. One of the toward the end of the trip, <clears throat> we loaded up the pews that our brothers Paul and Greg was in charge of, and we strapped them all down. And I mean, Lynn really he strapped them down good, of what we thought was good. And uh, so in this ordeal of going down to this uh, Demobilha Church, it was quite a ways down there, and the, and the highway was not near what they are here. Pretty rough terrain. It was raining, and uh, so Whit and I kind of looked back periodically and checking on these pews, make sure that everything is okay, because you know we had some cargo. They wanted to make sure it arrived safely. And about I don't know, 30 minutes after we got in this little rough rough road, well, looking back, everything's fine. And all of a sudden, we looked back, and those pews had shifted forward to about this far from our van window. So we hollered at Eddie Wayne, stop the van, but not too quick. You know, we don't want to say things to shove forward to come through the back of the window. So that was, uh, we stopped and scooted them all back. And uh, fortunately, everything worked out. We uh, was able to get them there safely. One of the goals of this trip, apparently, was Pastor to get us out of our comfort zone. He didn't warn us that ahead of time. And so, uh, you know, I got to help build pews. And uh, I got to build a door and a window. Never really done that before, paint. Um, and so, and, uh, and give a, give a uh, devotional. So uh, I guess I, I met that goal. Through this, I realized that nothing in my life is ever about me. It's always about others and Christ. And just realizing that just serving others and serving Christ is what fulfills me in my life. I don't need all that fame that I've always wanted. I don't need any of that. I just, it just makes me so happy to be able to serve others and serve Christ just through that. It just makes me happy. I guess the best experience was just working with the kids and they were just so anxious to help and be a part of everything and wanting a lot of balloons and stuff. And it's just really fun to get to know everybody better and become more of like a church family, I guess. You go on one of these trips, if you haven't gone on a mission trip before, we leave early in the morning, by that night, you're already family. You just really bond with these people. We'd give them their assignments, and I'm thinking, I don't know if, if Alana likes to say anything, but I gave her a clown job. You give her a nose and a, and a wig, the girl can perform. So if y'all want to see her perform, give her a clown nose and a hat. <laughs> she, she can get after it. She did great. Um, it's just fun to see everybody come out of their shell. VBS was fun playing with the kids. Um, they're just really sweet kids, um, just really open to the, the messages and the, the stories that we had to tell. And, but it was just, it was a great experience. And then just to, to see you all um, and the examples that you all were of, of hard work and and uh, openness and teamwork and, and just really great group of people to, to work with. The most thing I'm impressed with was how God goes around the world in every other country, everywhere. And I liked how you knew the kids were having fun when they just came everywhere smiling, running up to the van, when we went to VBS. It's pretty legit. It was a pretty fun time being there, helping everybody, and adding on to the church in Model High, is that? I don't know. Yeah, that place. And then painting the rest of those churches. It was a fun experience. And have all the other kids help us paint. It's pretty fun. Well, what I enjoyed most is, you know, just watching all the kids just, you know, running, like I said, to the band on BBS, you know, they, they, and then I passed up the church and it was just like, come on back, come on back. 
but I was just turning around. So it was all good. Uh, really enjoyed uh, having the opportunity. Just to go with my son, been able to travel, been able to take off work. I really enjoyed it. I do it again in Arby. Thank y'all. Um, it was exciting to see how God worked in each of your lives. I mean, I, we lived in Belize, and um, so it was fun for me to stand back and just see how. Um, God opened your eyes and just the different things um, that we were all able to do. Even um, chasing scorpions is not really one of my things, but I just decided I needed to do it. Um, but it was just so much fun to see how um, God really just took each of us that were willing and all of us were. I could see that in every part of the trip and just to step out and do those things and how he worked through those things. And um, I always enjoy the kids in Belize and the people. I love them so much. And it was it was good to be back, and um, I'm just so blessed um, to be a part of a church that is mission-minded. I enjoyed Belize, and it was a privilege to come with the church family. This family, this church, is the best family Ed and I have ever had. But um, to go where we were painting, but with Cheryl and, the, and Tammy and the little children that first night with 67 kids, just running, just couldn't hardly wait to get there. We don't have that here. We've lost something. Sunday, when they prayed for Cheryl, it was like you could feel God. For me, that was the highlight because those people know how to pray, and they could reach out and touch God, and I could feel it. I knew it. But, and I appreciate everybody that was there and everybody that was a team lead. What, they were awesome. What, what really hit me first when I first got down there was the way the people just welcomed us with open arms, you might say. Uh, I, I never have gone anywhere where I felt more welcome than the people in Belize did for us. And also the way the people of our church uh, pulled together to accomplish their, their task. I don't, I don't think I ever heard anyone complain about their assignment for the day. You might have heard it, but I didn't. Uh, everybody went at it. They, they went at it as if Hey, this is my deal for today. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to do it well. And there was, there was just a great deal of, of, of input into everything that we did. And it was so well, well planned and well executed. You could tell uh, the pastor and the, those in the leadership, uh, he, he, he surprised me one day and he put me over a group. I said, man, you are really brave. Because I, I don't even know what, I never have done this kind of work before, but he, he put me into it. We got it done. And another thing, they gave us periods of rest for us old codgers, you know, uh, where we could rest a little in between so we weren't totally worn out for the next thing that came along. But most of all, I, I think it was the enthusiasm, the uh, planning to do everything right. Not, not, nothing was done second rate down there. Everybody did their job to the utmost. I watched Paul, and I watched Lynn, and I watched Becky, and I watched, you know, the different ones. All of them did their job, and they did an outstanding job with it. And I, I, I praise the Lord. He, he let me be a part of it. And I was, I was accepted in the group, even though I'm, I'm new here. I've only been here a year. But, uh, you know, everyone, everyone made me feel so welcome. And I praise the Lord for that. This trip to Belize was uh, one of the most wonderful times that I have ever had in my life, aside from my marriage to my husband and my two boys. Uh, I learned a lot on this trip. The people there in Belize were just so, like I said, loving. You know, they just smiles all the time. I. Uh, we were supposed to ride a boat across the sea. <laughs> and um, for those of you who don't know, I am deathly afraid of the water. Uh, the night before, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed to God to help me do this. Everybody 
was very understanding and prayed for me to do it. And uh, I was able to ride that boat across that sea to that island. And God was with me the whole time. No, I, I wasn't a leader on anything. I tried to, uh, ta uh, and Erin did the same thing. She, she, we both tried to take pictures of things so we can document, and because that's something we can do. And um, my, that my favorite pictures are when we got Vicky actually, actually smiling on on the boat and everything. She's uh, she's terrified, but she's still able to smile. So uh, there's that. So one of my favorite pictures is seeing. Um, on that boat trip over to uh, uh, Cocker Key. And there, we had this tarp in the center. It was raining really hard. And there's Greg with his arm around Vicky and the tarp covering it from the rain. And they, the picture looks like they're praying. And I'm assuming they were. <laughs> and he's just, you can see his wedding ring there. And you can see Vicky's perfect hair. And it's just, just an awesome picture. <laughs> Lots of fun times. And it was, um, I guess my point is, Yes, it was a mission trip, but it was, it was also a family trip. Um, Forty of us going and, and growing closer together as a family of God and not only working, but enjoying, um, just enjoying the wonderful things God has for us um, here in this life as we build his kingdom uh, in the future.